My name is Bill Weiser, and I'm proud to serve as Chief of CAL FIRE Riverside County Fire Department. Working alongside me is an immensely strong team of firefighters and support personnel. This last year, we responded to over 170,000 calls for service. However, that all happened outside our stations. The Firehouse Gourmet will showcase life inside the firehouse as we train, live, and work together in our home away from home. Now let's see what's cooking in the firehouse. Brought to you by Gelato Granucci and Reverse Mortgage Works. Red Jeep Tours would like to introduce you to the heroes of Cal Fire Riverside County Fire Department. Welcome to the Firehouse Gourmet. Welcome to Cal Fire, Riverside County, Fire Station 17. I'm Captain Craig Knight. So nice to meet you. I'm Lori Larson, and I am so excited to be here. Are you ready to get cooking? Let's go. All right. Welcome, Lori, to Fire Station 17's kitchen. Thank you. This is fun. Hello. Hi. Hi. This Ryan. is uh, Engineer Ryan Robertson. He works on the truck here. And this nice is Fire you. Captain Trong Wen, and he is Hi. one of the captains on the fire engine here at Station 17. Nice to meet you. Well, it looks like we're all set up. What are we cooking? Today, we are going to be cooking uh, Kalbi short ribs, mm -hmm. which is a Korean barbecue that came out long ago, who knows when. But uh, my wife is part Korean, and then we like Asian food, and I just learned how to cook it years ago, being a fireman and wanting to cook good food for all the guys. That sounds great. Is there anything that we're going to serve with it? Uh, what we're going to start with it is some just traditional white rice and some green beans with some slivered almonds. All right. Well, I'm here to help. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to start the rice. To get that going, and it only takes about 20, 30 minutes, but what we need to do is we need to get the pot over here. And if you would like to just pour some rice in here, we don't measure this. This is a old secret recipe. Just pour the rice nice. in the pot, maybe about a third way up. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. And then stop right there. And then no measuring needed. And then what we're gonna need to do here is, we're gonna just fill this up with water to a very special height. So we're gonna get this going with water. And then I'm gonna kinda eyeball it here a little bit, which I think that's about right. And this is the trick right here. I make sure I get everything a little flat. And then this special finger right here. Uh-huh. I stick it in. And if the water goes up to this first line, uh -huh. then it's perfect. But it's not quite there yet. So I'm going to add a little bit more water. Give it another little test. Right there, I got to the line and just above it. And this is the measurement for perfect rice. Well, I know that every recipe has its secret ingredient. Is that actually the secret ingredient? It's not the secret ingredient, okay. but it's the perfect way to make perfect rice. I love it. So what's next? Before we get to what's next with the cooking, let's go outside and we have a surprise for you. A surprise? A surprise. Okay. Today we're going to go ahead and simulate a civilian that is trapped on the rooftop of a building without any access from the ground. Uh, this station and this battalion takes uh, a high level of pride in their abilities to manage rescues and emergency incidents. So they train often for this type of rescue. It is uh, something that happens somewhat frequently. And this is considered a high angle or a technical rescue. So this does involve a, a large amount of training, some dedicated time to perform this type of training on top of the daily training that happens uh, every single day in this battalion for our firefighters. There's many aspects that I like about being a firefighter. I don't believe there's any other profession that has as much of an impact that we have on someone whether it's helping with a malfunctioning fire alarm, a life-threatening medical emergency, or even risking our own lives. 
for a stranger at a fire. That's what makes me happy. I'm Michael Gonzalez, and I'm a firefighter. I got what it takes. I've got what it takes. I've got what it takes. Looking for a safe and fun outdoor adventure? Then let Palm Springs world famous Red Jeep Tours transport you to a desert wonderland. Choose from a variety of exciting adventures. Journey through the bones of the earth on our signature San Andreas Fault Tour at our private and exclusive Matate Ranch. Explore narrow walled slot canyons, a natural palm oasis, and learn about local Native American culture. Red Jeep Tours, offering experiences that engage, educate, and entertain since 1988. If you'd like to join thousands of people living better with the all-new lower-cost reverse or retirement mortgage, call Mark and Brian with Reverse Mortgage Works. We are local, licensed, certified professionals. Call to receive your free quote and learn about a retirement mortgage today. Hi, I'm Jan, and welcome to Kitchen Kitchen. When you first walk in, you're going to notice the wonderful aroma of our gourmet coffees. Peruse the well-stocked shelves filled with those unique and hard-to-find items and check out our wide selection of bakeware, barware, and barbecue, as well as our full line of quality cookware, cutlery, and gadgets galore. We also offer knife and scissor sharpening so you can shop while we sharpen. Need a gift? We have it for everyone on your list and even offer beautiful complimentary gift wrap. Follow me into the kitchen where we hold the cooking classes and private events. You may even catch a demo of our best-selling gadgets, such as the square egg press, the pineapple slicer, the apple peeler, the electric rotato, and my personal favorite, the chopper. Stop by Kitchen Kitchen today. Family owned and operated for three generations since 1979. So come on into Kitchen Kitchen. Hope to see you soon. Well, that was fun. That was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so what's next now is we want to prep the meat before we make the marinade. So I'm going to get the meat over here. And if you would like to grab the brown sugar, and we can put this right here over this cutting board. If you want to sprinkle nice and smothered the whole bottom with the brown sugar. Okay. One more. And that's about good. And then what I'll do is I'll start stacking all these nice mm. short ribs right next to each other. They took the regular ribs that we would eat at a barbecue place and they cut them perpendicular, nice and thin. So that's why you see all these little tiny bones right here. This is the ribs cross cut. Is this your go-to meal? This is not my go-to meal, but this is a meal that can be cooked really fast after the marinade's already done. And if we were busy running calls and they could stay in the bags, and when we come back, these only take about three to five minutes to cook. Oh, at a great. Time. So the, the marinating is really the, the trick to the, the flavor. The marinating is the trick. And we want to marinate them about six to 12 hours each. Mm. So, again, we're going to smother a little bit more brown sugar on each piece. Okay. And this is going to add the sweetness, and it's not too sweet. And then we'll just layer some more on here. Now I'm assuming you all take turns cooking? We do. We all take turns cooking and I think uh, to, be, to be a good fireman in the kitchen, I think we all need to have at least two solid recipes. And if every person that we work with has two solid recipes, then I think uh, we can get away with cooking any day of the week. Now it's my understanding, now more brown sugar? More brown sugar. It's my understanding that whoever doesn't cook gets to clean? Sometimes. But a lot of times we'll play a game for the cleaning, or sometimes the younger guys at the fire station, they think it's a big game to see who could clean first. So now, we're gonna let this sit aside, and uh, you'll see after we let it sit aside while we make the marinade, the brown sugar is gonna kinda melt down mm. over the beef and kinda settle into it a little bit. So we can put these off to the side. And then we'll check the rice real quick to make sure it's not boiling. So the first thing we gotta do, we're gonna crush garlic in here, and then, and then we're gonna get this onion nice and cut up, and we're gonna grate the- Ginger. The, the fresh ginger right there. So if you wanna grate that off to the side, or peel it off to the side, I should say. Do you not take the peel off? Nope, we take the peel off. Take the peel yep. off, okay. We're gonna peel off some, because we're only gonna use 
just a little bit, just to give it that nice flavor. Yeah, ginger's one of my favorite ingredients. And if you wanna use this small grate side, mm -hmm. and you can grate uh, just maybe up until where you stop peeling right here. Okay. Into the bowl, or you, can I do you it You can here? do it right there, that's fine. All right. And then we'll, we'll scoop it all into the bowl. All right, how am I doing? I think that's good. Let's okay. take a look, see what we got there. All right. Oh, so it's always stuck in there, and that's all right. All right. But that looks like it's gonna be really good right there, just perfect. So we can just, we can shove all that with all those juices right in the bowl. And that's gonna make it nice. Mm. And then, just so, just so that the crying can be maybe limited to me, maybe I'll do the onion. There's no crying in cooking. There's no crying in cooking, right. How many people are at this station? So there's seven people at this station every day. Mm -hmm. There's 18 people assigned to the fire station. Um, there's 12 people that are assigned to the truck. There's four people on each day. And then there's six people assigned to the engine and there's three people on that each day. So you have an engine and a truck here? An engine and truck and a little bit more. We have a water rescue that doubles up as an off-road vehicle for remote area rescues. And we also have a USAR, which is provided for um, any kind of technical rescue types of things like shoring or heavy lifting or breaching and breaking. So you do a lot here at the station? We do a lot here at the station. Is we'll start grating this onion here. And we'll use about almost 100% of this onion. So now that we got the garlic and the fresh grated onion and the fresh grated ginger, now we'll start to add the liquids. Two cups of soy sauce. <laughs> Stand back. And this was? Four tablespoons of sesame oil. Oh, sesame oil is one of my favorites too. Delish. And, and just to make it quick, if you don't mind putting one cup of that rice vinegar in there. And then I'll add one cup of water over here. Okay. And then you can pour that in there as well. And then we'll throw some sesame seeds in there. Okay. Mm. And then go ahead and grab that garlic chili sauce. Wow. And then just w whatever you think, two, three tablespoons would All look right. like. Maybe we'll do about a teaspoon of black pepper. Perfect. There you go. And are. now we could just mix that up a little bit and we'll get out the bags because then we'll put the meat in the bags bring this back out and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna separate this into two bags so the marinade really gets on mm. every single piece so we'll be careful here and you see how the brown sugar kind of melted down mm -hmm. and what we're doing here for a traditional about seven guys we do about five pounds of meat and that's what this recipe is based on, five pounds of meat. So does that include any leftovers or does that pretty much get demolished? This gets demolished every single time. <laughs> I bet. Every single time. So I like to get a cup. You don't want to do the free pour, huh? So No, <laughs> I like to get a cup so we can get an even amount in each bag. And okay. then you can kind of use this to mix it up. Okay. And you get an even amount of those ingredients in each bag. There we go. and we could just go one for one, so it's nice and balanced. Precision. Precision is the key. You mentioned USAR. Can yep. you explain that to me a little so bit? So that's Urban Search and Rescue. Oh. So what we are here is we're actually a type two USAR team, and that's comprised of our actual, the equipment complement that's in our box truck with mm -hmm. all the tools, and the equipment complement that's on our big ladder truck. And with that type of equipment, there's minimum complement, and we are considered a type two USAR. All right, so what okay. we're gonna do here is we're gonna seal up these bags, okay. and we're gonna get a couple, we'll try to take as much air as we can out, and then we're gonna get a couple more bags, just in case here, for any leakage. So we like right. to back things up here. <laughs> yep, and then we're gonna actually lay them, we're gonna, Get all that marinade on all of them, and then we're gonna lay them flat in the fridge. 
And these need to marinate between six and 12 hours, and every couple hours, we'll flip the bags. Wow. Just so that marinade gets everywhere. About 20 years ago, I was taking an EMT course. I met some folks who were firefighters. I decided to get involved, and it's been a great career opportunity for me. Um, I love helping people. I'm Captain Johnny Garcia, and I'm a firefighter. When you think of Palm Springs, you think of sunshine, palms, and beautiful backyard pools. Let Sunny Palm Pool Service take the worry out of maintaining the most important pool around, yours. Sunny Palm Pool Service offers concierge service for your pool or spa. Top quality and reliable maintenance and repairs. Sunny Palm Pool Service. We'll do the work. You do the relaxing. Call Rod at 760-333-4804. Bobby Botinas, Mexican and American Grill, coming soon to the river in Rancho Mirage. Lunch, happy hour, dinner, and evening entertainment. Bobby Botinas, coming soon to the river in Rancho Mirage. Welcome to Gelato Granucci, the little shop with the big flavors. Gelato Granucci's brilliant flavor designers combine only the finest quality ingredients to make unique flavors fresh every day. Flavors like Amarena Sour Cherry, Tiramisu, and Joshua Tree Coffee. We have gelato cakes, gelato cannoli, pops, and pints to go. Located on North Palm Canyon in downtown Palm Springs. Gelato Granucci. Come experience the art of gelato. Hello, I'm Carlos King. My passion is designing fabulous homes. I work closely with my clients to achieve the look and feel that matches their vision. My greatest satisfaction is the wow factor when my clients see our finished project. Let me translate your dreams into a visual reality. Call me at 760-880-9987. The Firehouse Gourmet thanks Red Jeep Tours for bringing closed captioning to the hearing impaired. So Craig has put you in charge of the beans. Yes. And is there a special technique? Very simple. So for me, I like to just get the pan hot, get it started hot, and then I add the oil. Okay. A little bit of oil, about maybe a tablespoon of oil. Get that going. Swirl that around the pan a bit. This, this is just like a quick, easy way to, so we get our vegetables in, and we're all good on boys. <laughs> and so after I get that going a little bit, I like to wait until, make sure that it's uh, hot enough. Mm -hmm. And so what I, I, I do is I add a little bit of water just to, once that starts bubbling and you hear the, the cracking uh -huh. sound, to me that's the sound of it's ready to go, okay. and ready to put the food in, and so. Oh, so, there it is. There it is. So I'll turn that down to about medium heat. Okay. Get that going. I heard that you are the engine captain. Yes. So what does an engine captain do? I'm, I'm in charge of the, the fire engine, and, and we share the responsibilities between the engine captain and the truck captain. Can I ask a really dumb question? The difference between an engine and a truck. So... Our engine is uh, our, we also call it, some places we'll call it a pumper. Mm -hmm. It's the engine and it has the hose and the water. And with our truck is our ladder truck. And they have, we call it the toolbox, the big toolbox. It has the ladders, ladder complement, and a hundred foot ladder. It does not have water in it. Ah, and so, so that's where you that's get a That's the pie. biggest difference, yeah. Ah. And so, and, uh, but together at this station, we, had, we usually have seven guys here working on a daily basis. Uh, for the most part, we train all our guys to essentially work on both pieces of equipment and be able to uh, work on the truck or the engine on any time, time of day. And, and we try to work together as a unit when we get uh, specialized calls. And then how many calls do you think you get a day? Uh, so we roughly run about 2,500 to 3,000 calls a year. So on average, 10, 10 calls to, you know, on a, on, on average and maybe 15 on a really busy day, you know? And That's so, a lot. And so, uh, yeah. And we, we just hope that it's before 
10 o'clock because we're all a bunch of old guys and we're going to sleep. And so here I got uh, this going uh, just to get it started. Now that it's ready to get started, I'm going to shuffle it up a little bit. Get, get, get the it's going to be shuffled up. Get it covered oil. with oil? Yeah, get it covered with oil. And then how long does this usually take to cook? Uh, this takes roughly about 15 minutes. Okay. So you steam it about 15 minutes. I try to keep it like firm, mm -hmm. sell, and keep it from getting too soggy. And so it, it's kind of, of uh, just pay attention to it and make sure that it doesn't get too soggy. So now that the rice is about to be done cooked, uh -huh. it's not done completely. So we're gonna check it. Oh, it looks perfect wow. right here. But the bottom of the rice had more moisture longer than the top of the rice. Oh. So what we wanna do here- Is this your here, second secret to the rice? Yes, this okay. is my second secret okay. to the rice. So what we wanna do is we wanna toss that rice around and mix the bottom with the top. And it's not quite done yet. So while those green beans cook and while we get the rest of the barbecue going, we can put the lid back on, and I guarantee by the time we come back, it'll be perfect white, white rice. Ready for this? I feel the heat. Right? Dude, you're gonna feel it right now. Okay. <laughs> Woo! It's a hot grill. So, how hot do you get this before you want to put them on? Uh, well, obviously preheating it up and then uh, turn it down to about a medium to low heat. I don't know the exact temp, but just kind of wing it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go by ear. Okay. I know most people have a secret to grilling. What is your secret? Uh, not burning it. Ah, that's that's not my burning secret. It. Yeah. That's a good secret. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> so if you guys have ten, you know, ten calls a day average, what do you do here at this station while you're not on calls? Uh, well, cooking's one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, another one would be training. We uh, we like to train, especially. At this station, we have a lot of uh, equipment and tools and specialty equipment that uh, we need to, you know, be up on. Because if we don't train on them, then we kind of lose it. If you don't sure. use it, we lose it. Mm -hmm. uh, we get a lot of new people too, so we want to train them up on it, so everybody knows their job, their position. Uh, other than that, we we like to stay up on physical fitness mm -hmm. and and sleep. Sleep is also <laughs> always key, so. Yeah, because you never know when you're gonna have a call, so you have to get your Z's in when you can. Yes, yeah. definitely. So yeah, the nap times are definitely a key. <laughs> Especially this station. <laughs> <laughs> and what's your specialty that you train here? Um, well, there's multiple things. So we have, you know, the, the engine, truck, and then also cross staff, the USAR and water rescue, so. Um, we try to build up, you know, from, from the bottom, like we'll do, you know, hose and stuff for the new firemen on, off the engine. Uh, then on the, the truck, we'll uh, do a lot of auto X um, training. We have some vehicles down below that we have a, a local um, pick apart that'll mm -hmm. drop off some vehicles. So we'll do, you know, some, some basic door pops and uh, B uh, plus blowouts. Um, we'll turn the vehicle over, uh, taco it, and uh, start cutting from the, the back side or underneath. Um, you taco? You taco a car? Yes. And what does that mean? <laughs> um, so basically, uh, it being on its roof, we'll uh, make some uh, fork cuts in the, the frame and the body, depending on the, the make and how it's built, and uh, do uh, a grip hoist from one end. And then we could do a ram in the middle, push it up and chain the front and back. And it basically brings the front of the car and the back of the car, like the trunk, and up too. So if it's like the sides, you can't enter the vehicle, you could enter from the rear. Um, so, wow. Yeah, just another way to, to make entry into a vehicle. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. After my military service, uh, I was a combat medic in the Army. I did 13 months in Iraq, and then I got out and still wanted to serve, so I went to paramedic school and jo then joined the fire service. So it still gave me the opportunity to serve, and it's never the same thing every time you come into work. You never know what's going to happen, and I love it. I'm Rob Black. I'm a firefighter.
Restore Health Disease Reversal can help us to a healthier lifestyle. Restore Health is a personalized health service that will help you get back to living better. We work closely with you to create a plan that best suits your goals and needs for a happier, healthier lifestyle. So when you choose to restore your health, give us a call. Take control of your life with Restore Health. When you think of Palm Springs, you think of sunshine, palms, and beautiful backyard pools. Let Sunny Palm Pool Service take the worry out of maintaining the most important pool around, yours. Sunny Palm Pool Service offers concierge service for your pool or spa. Top quality and reliable maintenance and repairs. Sunny Palm Pool Service. We'll do the work. You do the relaxing. Call Rod at 760-333-4804. If you'd like to join thousands of people living better with the all-new lower-cost reverse or retirement mortgage, call Mark and Brian with Reverse Mortgage Works. We are local, licensed, certified professionals. Call to receive your free quote and learn about a retirement mortgage today. I got what it takes. I've got what it takes. I've got what it takes. All right, let's, let's eat. Let's All right. This. All right. Starving. Mm -hmm. I am too, it smells so good. So I see we have some guests coming. Yeah, we do have some guests tonight. Since we're making uh, some good dinner, I think we have a PIO, PIO officer with us, April, and our baton chief, uh, Josh Jensen, coming over for dinner. Oh, nice. There you go. Love having visitors. Yeah, it makes it more fun. More fun, more people, more fun. Go, All let's right. eat. Hello. Hi. This looks fabulous. Just wait till you try it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dig in. Thanks for joining us, everybody. And don't be shy. Eat with your fingers. That's what they're for. That's how you eat ribs, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. well, Chief Jansen, what makes this station such a spe special station to work at? Well, in my opinion, First off, as you can see, the, the pride and the professionalism in this fire station is top notch. It's pretty obvious that the expectation here is to be the best at what you're uh, able to do when you come to this fire station. So that, that, uh, that feeling is here as well as the level of pride and cleanliness and everything else. Yeah, you can definitely tell. Well, thank you so much, not only for having me, but for what all of you do on an everyday basis is incredible. And I just thank you for your service. You're welcome. Thanks for joining thank us. You. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for being here.